Hey there, YouTube. Uh, this is SJM4306 back with another video, and I just want to make a quick one about progress I've made on the mini arcade. I've spray painted the sides, uh, this kind of slightly off white textured. Um, this was actually kind of only the second time I've ever used spray paint, so it didn't do such a great job, but it looks good enough. I don't care. I care more about the electronics and the functionality. So here's the power supply that I have rigged up and um, the control board that I've mostly soldered, the Arduino that will control the um, the RGB NeoPixel buttons, as well as my uh, chip that I programmed to do um, power management control for shutdown, safe shutdown, and power on of the Raspberry Pi. Everything is interfaced via these screw terminals, and I just have a wire so I can actually control because I don't have all the buttons wired up right now. So let's uh, just give this a power on. Turn this guy on auxiliary power is on and it puts the uh the raspberry pi in standby if i just short these two pins it will um boot to life and hopefully i can uh, switch the video signal and there we go so now we're uh, booting retro pi so i'm just going to skip through this and uh and show you guys when i actually get to the the main screen you'd see the uh, splash screen i installed there Okay, you can see as it's uh, booting right now, um, when you're just sitting there in the main menu, um, it'll just show all white buttons. And then, um, you know, as it's getting into emulation station, once it boots up, if I don't touch any of the buttons, it'll time out and display a rainbow kind of multicolor animation. And I can show that to you, uh, you know, in a couple seconds once it actually times out. And there it just went. You can see it just sort of changes in a rainbow pattern, kind of zigzaggy. And whatnot but anyway that's if you don't press anything but if I take one of the wires and uh, select right now I'm on Game Boy I can uh, go left or right whatever uh, just by touching the buttons these are these will actually go to a header that is actually connected to the buttons but they're not wired right now let's try to uh, select um, SNES oh just passed it here we go and I will select A. And why not? Breath of Fire, whatever. So now it boots up the uh, palette for that. And this actually matches the uh, Super Famicom uh, button colors. Over here, you can see it's kind of tilted a bit. But yeah, it matches the, uh, the color scheme on these buttons here. Um, as well as kind of the purple from the US SNES. So yeah. Everything works. I just need to kind of mount everything up. Uh, this power supply is not quite up to the task. Um, it's actually a 24 volt. I thought it was a 12 volt. And there's a built in 5 volt rail as well, but it's using a linear regulator. So it gets pretty darn hot. So I'm going to switch to a, a switch mode 5 volt um, converter to power this guy because that'll be more efficient. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. And hopefully this turns out pretty cool. Um, I've already mounted the main bezel. Um, this is going to be a Game Boy themed uh, system anyway. So I've got that all mounted up. I just have to actually uh, find a way of securing the LCD. I don't want to permanently attach. I'm thinking maybe magnets in each of the corners so that's removable in case I ever need to repair. I have the audio amp already set up as well. And that guy is right here. I just need to uh, spray paint this black. You can see there's a volume knob, there's a built-in amplifier and two speakers. And that's gonna sit at an angle right up in the cavity here. It's a little dusty in there. Anyway, uh, right in the cavity there, and then there's a top that comes down and the uh, marquee will be in here and it'll you'll be able to slide out the marquee because here are the marquees that I printed out. Uh, one obviously Game Boy themed and two just, uh, well, one Nintendo and then one NES themed. I thought it'd be kind of cool to play around with uh, how these would look. Obviously, these are mirrored since they go on the backside of plexiglass. But you could kind of imagine that's how it would roughly look. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.